There are three methods to solve a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. The first one is called factorization. The second one, we apply the quadratic formulas that is x equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And the third one is completing square. Look at this example here. We have x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals zero. I have to solve this quadratic equation. I can use factorization, quadratic formula, or completing the square. Since this can be easily factorized, I'm going to solve it using factorization. So x times x, x square. 4 here, I have 4 times 1. I need a positive 3x, so I have positive 4x minus x. Therefore, my x minus 1 equal to 0, x equal to 1, or x plus 4 equal to 0, x equal to negative 4. Sometimes a quadratic equation cannot be solved using factorization, so we have to apply either quadratic formula or completing square. So for the second example here, we have x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. And you can see that this quadratic equation here cannot be factorized. After you either quadratic formula or completing square here. I'm going to discuss quadratic formula in the next two examples. So now I'm going to solve it using completing square. So a lot of students will wonder what is actually completing square. So the rationale behind completing square is something like that. Let's say I have x plus b square. If you expand it, you will have x square plus 2bx plus b square. So now I'm going to use this expansion here to explain the method of completing square. The first step here, I'm going to bring over the negative 5. I have x square plus 3x equal to positive 5. So now for completing square, I want to change the x square plus 3x here to become this in the form of completing square. That is x plus b holding square. So I have x square plus 3x equal to 5. Generally, I have to determine the value here so that this will become the complete square. What you can do here is you can put 3 as 2b. Can you see you have x squared plus 2bx? You put 3 as 2b. Therefore, your b equal to 3 over 2. So your b is 3 over 2. You need a positive b squared here. So you put that positive 3 over 2 square. If you add a number here, you have to add the number on the other side. So you have a positive 3 over 2 square here. Can you see this is x square plus 2bx plus b square. This will become x plus b. Your b is 3 over 2 whole thing square. This equal to 29 over 4. So you can continue it. x plus 3 over 2. You put your square over, it becomes square root of 29 over 4. Remember to put a positive negative here for square root. This equal to positive negative square root 29 over 2. So x equal to, you bring a positive 3 over 2 over, become negative 3 over 2, positive negative square root 29 over 2. So you have two answers. The first one is negative 3 plus square root 29 over 2. The other one should be negative 3 minus square root 29 over 2. This is how you solve this equation using completing square. Next, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process to solve the quadratic equation using completing square. But remember, if in the exam you are required to solve a quadratic equation, please use the second method that is using the quadratic formula. Because the quadratic formula is very simple, you just need to plug in your value A, B, C in the formula.